here at the house. Um, if you're new here, my name is Francesca Jeanette. And we are going back and forth between our apartment and our new home. So we are now in the house to home series. And I wanna show y'all some things that I got, so hold on. All right, so we have packages on packages on packages that I've had probably for a couple of days to a few months. And we're finally able to open them now that we have the whole house clean. Hubby is putting together my entryway table that I got from Target. I will link it on my like to know page so that if you're interested in purchasing it, you can. It'll be linked below on my like to know it link. But I'm so excited. I hope it comes out okay. It's hard at work. So we don't have any furniture right now because everything is back ordered and we're ordering stuff little by little. So that's that. <laughs> the thing is we still have our apartment. So we still have furniture there. So we will be bringing our sectional from the apartment to go in our loft. And then our living room furniture. I don't know when that's coming in because I don't know when I'm going to be able to order it. Living room furniture is hella expensive. Uh, the most I could probably do is like a couple of armchairs for now. But I honestly am in no rush to get living room furniture because it's not like we'll have a lot of guests here anyway. So that being said, um, I'll show you the little bit that I bring in when it comes in. <laughs> Our refrigerator, I was able to order that. Um, it wasn't the one I wanted, so that came from Home Depot. Um, the service plan was like $450 with Home Depot. Something told me to go back on Samsung and check. They had my refrigerator. They had the service plan for 86% off, so it ended up being $49. And they had free installation, and you can register for four extra panels. So. If you don't know already, by that description, which refrigerator I ordered, it is the Samsung Bespoke Refrigerator with the Family Hub. The only thing is, ordering it through Samsung, the exact one I wanted with um, the discount that I got, it was 32% off. It's not gonna get here until June 4th, but that works out because, actually June 8th, that works out because our lease is up June 2nd, so that's only four days that we'll be without a refrigerator. But we do have a small one already that we can use for like milk and water and leftovers and whatever. So we won't technically be without a refrigerator, we'll just be without the refrigerator that I want for four days. Plus, the amount I paid for the refrigerator with Home Depot, remember it's the one that didn't have the color panels that I wanted, and the expensive service plan, I was able to get the vacuum I wanted and the refrigerator for the same cost, minus $100. So I actually got two appliances for the price of one ordering directly through Samsung. And I'm getting all of my money back from Home Depot. The only thing is I have to wait for it. So that to me is a pretty good trade off. I got two appliances for the price of what I paid with Home Depot. So you'll see that in a later video. And I'm going to help Travis with um, this entryway table, but I wanted to show you all what I got from Amazon for the garage. So again, if you hear an echo, that's because we're in the house. I actually scratched that. I only got my lashes in. What are my garage pieces? Let me see where these pieces are. It said it was delivered. Delivered with what? Oh, that might be in the other box. Hold on one second. Okay, so I got the correct box. So hopefully it's in here. Let's see. Let's see if it's in here. Cause it definitely wasn't in the other one. That was my um my lash glue in the other one. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Let me turn this exposure up some. All right, so 
I got a King Charles drawer jiggy thing so that when I put the drawer pulls on, I will be able to drill them, drill the holes in the spot I need them to be drilled in. So that's that. And then, y'all, clearly I'm gonna have to film when no one's here because people don't know how to be quiet while I'm filming. Anyway, I got these garage pieces with the handles. And I don't know if, if I'm gonna put both sets on or just one set, but we're gonna see how these look outside. They're decorative. Um, applications for your garage if they don't come with it and they're magnetic they have little magnetic strips on the inside so i think that's pretty nice you know the little handles that come on so we'll do that a little later in the video but as far as this is concerned i ordered my drawer pulls and they should be in next week possibly in the, this week so this is gonna be a great help of helping me line up where the holes go because I have different size drawer pulls. So this is going to allow me to create the holes, drill them in the most accurate spot so that I don't make any mistakes. Cause yeah, I don't wanna to have to go through with wood filler and be trying to fix and correct holes. So that's that. All right, let's see how the hubby is doing with the table. Oh, almost done, almost done. Thank you for putting that together, man. Cause y'all see these stubs, they hurt from peeling paint off before. Like, it hurts to touch stuff at this point. I don't think I would have been able to handle drilling anything in or screwing something in. They hurt. I'm ready for my nails to grow out because I know I got like I know I got like some paint chips stuck in my nails um, from trying to like peel them off the floor. Yeah, that should have been done by the builder, but they didn't do it. So there's that. Um, I have to remember not to hold my face so close to the camera. Look, I also want to show y'all what my builder got me. Um, and I have to wipe it off because it's kind of partially damaged, but they gave us a little thingy, a little cutting board, which I'm not gonna use as cutting board, but I thought that was so pretty. This piece comes off and you can use it as like a charcuterie, charcuterie board. <laughs> a little charcuterie board. Charcuterie. So it can go up there like this. Y'all see that? Isn't that so cute? Of course, I'm not going to put it there. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it, to be honest, because we still have to install cabinets here, a whole countertop situation, and then I want a new stove in the actual countertop. So something like that will probably go where the new stove is going, provided I don't do a pot filler, which that is the plan. So I just thought this was so cute. Okay, and... Probably the last item I'm gonna show you today that I purchased for this house is from Crate and Barrel. Um, they were sold out of this item and then I just happened to look like two months ago and it came back in stock. The first one that they sent me was damaged. Um, and that's not the first time I ordered something from Crate and Barrel and it ended up being damaged. But, this item is literally my second return for an item that's not damaged. So, so far with Crate and Barrel, I've ordered it twice and I've had to do two returns because of a damaged item. So, I'm kind of leery with them because I actually want to order our couch from them. And I'm like, well, what if the couch is damaged? <laughs> I gotta send the whole couch back. Anyway, I said all that to say this. I have a kettle <laughs> that I will probably give away when I reach 1,000 subbies. So make sure you share this with your friends. Tell them to subscribe to the channel, to the Boss Babe Squad, um, because I will be 
picking a lucky winner once we hit a thousand and do that giveaway to get the kettle that they allowed me to keep that was damaged. Now when I say damaged, it's still operable. It had basically some water spots on it. But y'all, this is a, let's see if I can get the price. Babe, cover your ears. This is a $99 kettle. So, <laughs> Once I reach a thousand subbies, a lucky winner will be getting this kettle for free, okay? So again, y'all make sure y'all share it with your friends, share it with your family, all that good stuff. And then comment that you did, like this channel, subscribe, like this video, subscribe. Leave a comment below once we hit a thousand so I can pick your name. I'll announce it in a later video when the thousand uh, subby giveaway will be. But just keep watching. Stay tuned, okay? Only way we're going to get there is if you share, 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 okay? And tell your friends to subscribe. But this is a kettle. Isn't it so pretty? I don't even think I'm going to use it. It's just, it's just a tech. It costs too much to use anyway. So let's put it over here real quick. I'm just gonna set it here. Should it go in the middle? Should it go on the side? Should it go on this side? Or in the middle? What y'all think? Should it go in the middle and the back? Because this stove does not have five burners, so it being in the middle is kind of like, why? But, isn't it so pretty? I mean, I could just keep it on the side, you know, until I get the actual stove that I want. I can just keep it on the side like that. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Should I put it in the middle? For symmetry, even though it's not a five burner stove, should I put it in the middle here? Or is that too weird looking? Should I put it on this side? Definitely not putting it in the front because man's gonna wanna play with it. But turn the exposure down son. What do y'all think? I like it off to the side because if it's in the middle, it's gonna cover that up. I just don't know if I want it on the left side or the right side. Y'all see, my daughter left her popcorn. So I'm gonna be eating it since she left it on the counter. Oh well. Look at the flowers our lender got us at closing. And this cute little card. Thank you, Michelle. She is such a sweetheart. She got us some daisies. I watered them a little bit, but they probably need some sun. I might sit them outside for a few hours. But anyway, let's put this over here next to the kettle. That's pretty, right? I like it. But anyway, like I said, once we hit a thousand subbies, I have an extra kettle by Crate and Barrel that I will be giving away for free. Um, I still have to pick a winner from my 500 subby, so I'll probably do that in this video. I just have to go back through my list and um, figure out who commented, who subscribed, who's already subscribed, who went to my Instagram, like my Instagram page. So I have to do all that. And then once I figure that out, I will reach out to that person and announce them on this video. So if I forget, charge it to my head, not my heart. It's been a busy week with this closing, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do it for this video, but if I don't, don't sue me, okay? It'll get done.
y'all know my OCD will not allow me to have this dust on here. Cause man will be sneezing up a storm. Gotta figure out how to, what I can do to vacuum. I can probably get a vacuum brush and do it. Cause just wiping it with the fiber cloth is not working very well. It's supposed to be microfiber, but I don't think it is, y'all. Not these purple ones. I got these from my mama house. <laughs> my mama, my mama house, my mama house. What do it look like, y'all? Is that center? Let's see. I think once you open the door, and the light comes through, that should be enough room. I like a plant. Let's see, y'all. What it look like, y'all? Look nice. It look way shorter on camera. It's a really long table. But I plan on putting a circle mirror here. Trying to figure out if we're gonna do board and batten all the way from floor to ceiling, or if we're gonna do a halfway wall situation. I don't know. I think the board and batten would be more simple, and then for the living room, we could do the halfway on this back wall. Yeah, I wanna do the back wall half black, half white. So on this wall, because we have this black entryway table. I'm thinking that we're going to just do the white board and batten from top to ceiling. And it may even be like twos instead of just one. And I may do twos or I may do two, one, two, one, just to make this wall pop because it is a really long wall. So that's it, y'all. So later on, I will probably have like some decor going on where I decorate this table. Um, it just won't be right now because I'm ready to go. So again, we are kind of like transitioning between the apartment and the house. So without all my stuff here, I'd be ready to go back to the apartment. Like, but let me show you all my flowers, hold on. I have these pretty flowers from Home Depot. I think these are tiger lilies. Mama, if you watching this, let me know if these are tiger lilies. I think they are. But some of them were already dead um, <laughs> at Home Depot. So I just, I picked the best one I could find. But some of them are already kind of like wilting, which is fine. They'll grow back. Tiger lilies come back every year, I think. At least from what I see at my mom's house. They come back like in the same spot and sometimes they come back even more aggressive. But patio furniture is still at the apartment. I don't know if I'm putting it out here or if I'm putting it in the, um, on the actual patio on the deck. Well, on the deck, so. Thank you, honey, for putting my table together. It looks so nice, doesn't it? It looks great. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to do it, but he did. No, he had to do it, cause I told y'all my fingers hurt. They hurt so bad. Look, and this one already like is peeling. So I'm gonna have to peel that and then it's gonna hurt worse cause it's gonna rip my skin. So, y'all. Jesus be some press-ons. But yeah, that's it for that. Entryway table is done. I went over some of the items that came in from Crate and Barrel. There's Kirsten, say hi. And I put this little thing up here. This is, of course, from Timu. This is not staying here, but I just put it up there because I just wanted something up here until the TV goes up there. So we probably will go TV shopping um, very soon because we are extremely bored here. Um, so yeah. I will see y'all in a little bit. Bye.